guys, it's Friday night about 7 o'clock and I'm finally making our weight loss video. Uh, we already did our weigh-ins this morning, so I'll show you those right now. And my weigh-in for Friday, January 27th, 229.2. 297.8. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Happy with that. Okay, here we are. Friday, January 27th, 2012, um, weight loss program diet this week consisted of going from 2,000 calories, which I've been uh, working on, down to 500 calories. Uh, it's a big change, obviously. Um, we went from portions of uh, uh, beef, chicken, shrimp, uh, crab, meat, to uh, with vegetables and one fruit so each meal consists of uh, about 3.54 ounces of meat which we had the meat market measure out for us and then uh, you know one vegetable about a cup cup and a half and then one fruit for for each meal seems to be working um, like I said down to 297.8 that's a uh, that's a pretty good loss compared to last week uh, 10 pounds down from last weigh-in um, 14 total so we're on our way uh, hopefully gonna keep going here and uh, meet the goal oh by the way I got a haircut probably shaved off about three pounds off that and shaved today so that uh, helped the weight loss Kenny's getting her butt kicked now see ya so, as you can see, Ken kicked my butt this week, which I figured he was going to do because last week he had lost several pounds and right before the weigh-in, he the night before, he had a big dinner and then showed no loss at all last week. So, um, I'm sure the very next day or whatever it was, he probably dropped those three pounds back off and then added uh, even more to it. So, he lost 10 pounds and I lost just a little over two pounds. So I haven't calculated percentage-wise where we're both at, but I bet you we're probably both about the same, which is kind of cool. As he mentioned, we made a drastic change in our diet this week, kind of just to see how it would go, because neither one of us have been very enthusiastic about wanting to exercise every day. So we thought we would cut our calories down like nearly in half, if not more, by eating just lean meats and fruits and vegetables at every meal, and the same for snacks. So we literally had no carbs, no fat, and very little sugar. The only sugar would be if there was any sugar in the fruit that we were eating. However, I did um, have a couple nibbles here and there of whatever I made the kids for dinner. Uh, that's been kind of hard for me. I'm, I love carbs. I love anything pasta. So even if I was making the kids something as simple as macaroni and cheese, I couldn't help but like take two bites just to taste it. Like I don't know what it tastes like. Um, so that's kind of just something that's been hard for me, that he had really stuck to his guns this week and did so much better than me. Also, not that I'm using this as an excuse, but all of you girls know how this goes, because earlier in the week, actually, I um, did reach my four-pound um, loss. However, a couple days ago, I uh, started that time of the month and gained a couple pounds back. So I'm not too worried about it. I know I'll probably have a really good week next week and make up for it. So I am pretty excited to finally be below 230, so that's pretty cool. And I know that 10 pound mark is just right around the corner. Other than that, it seems like this week has just been really busy with work. Um, for those of you who don't know, Ken and I both work from home. We recruit physicians for hospitals and practices um, here in the Midwest where we live. And we've been doing it for four years. And I go through spurts. It's like sometimes I get tired of it. You know, I kind of miss working with other people and having that kind of social aspect of having a job. But ever since the first of the year, I have some goals in mind of some things that I would like for us to reach, like financially and in terms of vacations and stuff this year. So I've really been putting my best foot forward in terms of my job and, and working really hard at that too. So it's like this month is all about us getting better at what we do, eating healthier, and uh, spending time with our kids and stuff like that. It's just, I don't know, been a really good month, a really good year so far. So that's pretty much all I have to say. I hope you guys are doing well too. Have a great weekend and we'll see you next week.